Pubs are crawling with Shadow Assassin Nons, and I've always wondered, is Shadow Assassin even a good armor set? If you know me, then you know I am a flipper, and I tend to just buy myself all the way to the top with the best gear and the best weapons. So I never really got to experience if Shadow Assassin was ever any good, and today I wanted to kind of put to the test to help other people also determine, is Shadow Assassin worth? First, let's talk about the cost. In total, I spent about 46,249,000 coins on the full set. Now I'm going to be going for a mythic 5 star Shadow Assassin set because that is ultimately technically the cheapest. I mean in the sense of it's going to be cheaper if you just buy off the auction house pre-enchanted, pre-recom, pre-fragged, and all that good stuff. Of course, we can't forget the actual juju bow that we need because most people in Shadow Assassin are running juju bow. So I'm just going to be buying this one and there. Now that we have this juju bow, let me just put my terminator in like up there and let's go test it in dungeons. And yeah, I'm going to go archer. I am, by the way, I am cat or 25. I'm cat of 40 with archer 35. So damage wise, I also forgot to mention my talisman are pretty maxed out. So this like won't be the same damage you would be doing, but all right, now that we've gotten, okay, there. So this guy, how much damage did I do? 16.176 mil. Okay. Okay, 19. 19 seems like... Okay, 21. <laughs> 21. We're going to call it 21. We're going to call it 21 because it had like the same soul and stuff. So, it's 5 mil more damage than Necron. Of course, it like varies. So, it's more like, what? That's 40% more damage? And also, one thing, if you did not know, Shadow Southern actually has a full set bonus. So, let me show you. You see this full set bonus right here? It says, collect the shadows of the enemies you kill, increasing your damage for the rest of the dungeon while wearing the set, plus one strength for every kill. I have 46 kills right now, so that means every one kill I get, I do that much more damage. Meaning, you see all these kills that I'm getting? Yeah, I'm getting one strength for that. Now, overall, this isn't too much of a difference, but when you get to the boss room, it goes crazy. So I'm just going to clear in with a hype for now because it's a lot faster, and I'll see you guys in boss room. So my EHP is... 318,250. Okay. And the EHP Outsider Dungeons is about 29,485. And with my Axe of the Shredded, I'm doing about 500, 600, yeah, around 550k to 600,000. And real quick, I'm going to test out an M3 to see if M3 is possible in Shadow Assassin. This is kind of just a joke part of the video because I am honestly pretty curious to see if you could survive as a Cato 40 with Shadow Assassin. And let me get my Wither Skeleton pets out. And let's go test real quick. So let me put my Hyperion in the right slot there. I want to see if I could still one tap the mobs or at least come close to killing them. Okay, I could still one tap the mobs. So maybe maybe Shadow Assassin isn't a bad budget set. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we got the LA. Use your ability or not. Ooh, he does so much damage. And I don't do any. Okay, okay. Well, so Shadow Assassin is not a good master mode set. I mean, we're like, kind of taking him like a kind of like explosive arrow you know yeah no <laughs> oh shoot wait no get my turn no don't kill me i mean if you have a turn if you have a 500 million coin weapon then i guess shadow assassin still works but sticking with a juju bow i think m3 is possible with shadow assassin it's just not viable i can definitely survive that's for sure but Again, if you're if you join a M3 party with Shadow Assassin, you're most likely gonna get kicked and made fun of. So this is the end of the video, but I still wanted to say a few things about Shadow Assassin. Shadow Assassin is a pretty good set overall, however, it won't compare at all to the later armor sets in the game. Now I know what you're thinking, Alex, that yeah, that's like the whole point. You know, Shadow Assassin's supposed to be a filler set. But it costs 46 million coins when you can just buy 82 million coins for 3 fourths Necron and do more damage and also have way more EHP inside of dungeons and more damage. Assassin is very good all the way up to Kata 24. However, past that, you should really try focusing on getting Necron purely because of the damage you're going to be doing and the survivability you also get from Necron.